Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and this is Jara of Fireflies. Here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of four. And today it's Friday and we are getting ready for Shabbat. Okay, for those of you keeping track, my tripod is still broken, so I can't adjust the height of it. So I'm, I'm literally just sort of like crouching down to talk to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's also really early in the morning. It is still like pitch black outside. What time is it? It's about 6.30 right now. I've been awake since five. All of my kids are awake right now, which is just crazy talk. I feel like this is sort of a winter thing because it gets darker earlier, they go to bed earlier, and then they wake up earlier. So that's, that is what is happening here. Okay, so as far as plans today, it's actually sort of a busy Friday. I've got a few errands to run, which does include a trip to the grocery store. I also have cooking to do today. I did a lot of it yesterday, like as much as I could yesterday. Like I made the fish yesterday. I boiled eggs for salads, um, things like that. Like we're gonna make egg salad and we're gonna make this other sort of like Israeli salad with the eggs. Super duper low key Shabbat this weekend. We're not gonna go out anywhere, not even gonna go to services. We are having sort of like a staycation kind of a thing going on this weekend. So it's just our family. There are no guests. We're not going out. There's no classes this weekend. Like nothing's happening. It is winter break, so a lot of people are out of town and there's just nothing really going on this spot. So I am totally okay with that. I'm excited. Yeah. And we have plans to just sit around all weekend and play games and read books and just be together as a family and cozy up inside because it's cold and just, just chill. So for meals tonight, the kids have requested that I make some chicken soup for tonight. So I'm gonna work on that today. And they have requested that I make pigs and blankets for tomorrow. Now, I'm using all beef hot dogs for this. We don't really call it pigs and blankets. We call it, but like, that's what most of you probably know it as, where it's like the pastry dough wrapped around the hot dog. So we call that, what is it in Hebrew? It's something that translates to something like Moses in the Ark or something like that. So obviously, cause the whole pig thing. But anyways, I'm using pig-free all beef hot dogs when I do that later on. I also have to make some gluten-free barakas. I made barakas last night for everybody else, but I have to make the gluten-free ones today for my kid with celiac. So that is, I'm looking at my list over here on the fridge. I feel like that's about the gist of it. So I will take you along as I do things today. And we're just gonna see how this goes because it's a busy day and I'm filming but I almost didn't film and was like, I'll just take the day off. And I was like, nah, I wanna hang out with you guys. So that is what we're doing. Okay, so yeah, let's just go get started on all the things. All right, first up here is the chicken soup. Normally I use a whole chicken, but I had these chicken leg quarter things in the freezer, so I decided to use those instead. I just put those in a pot along with some sage and some thyme, and then I started chopping up some veggies. I'm chopping up a few pieces of celery, as well as some purple carrots, some orange carrots, and some parsnips. I love the way the purple carrots bring in like a really deep color to the broth and the parsnips give it like a little bit of sweetness like all together the flavors are just amazing so i just add all of that there into the pot and then i cover everything with water i was going to put an onion in which i don't always do i don't usually do but there just really wasn't room today so i did not i did however add some salt and pepper
Okay, so the chicken soup is over there on the stove. It's gonna simmer there for the next hour or so. Later on today, my oldest is gonna make some matzo balls that we will eat with that uh, tonight. So my job is pretty much done there with the soup. Oh, actually I do need to take the chicken off the bones later and throw the bones away and put the chicken back in the soup, but whatever, I'll do that later when that is done. Um, so now what I think I'm gonna do is work on those hot dogs and the gluten-free maraca, because that is all has to be done with that gluten-free puff pastry. So let's get on it. All right, this is the puff pastry that I'm using. It's gluten-free, it's from Ariel Brand. And then these are the hot dogs that I am using. They're an all beef kosher hot dog. For the inside of the potato brekkas, I'm just using instant mashed potatoes, which I put the potato flakes in a bowl, added some of this soy milk to it and some water along with some salt and pepper. And then I'm just mixing that together. And then I'm just gonna put that aside until I am ready to put that inside of the puff pastry for the brekkas. Okay. I'm opening up the puff pastry now and then I'm grabbing a cutting board so that I can lay out a sheet of puff pastry. These sheets are really small, but I do find that they're perfect size for three barecas. Okay, so I'm just cutting those into three strips and then I'm adding a little scoop of those mashed potatoes. All right, the kind of final step here is I'm just taking some raw egg and I'm just using my finger to wipe that around the edges of the puff pastry sheet. And then I can fold the puff pastry over on top of the potatoes so that they're all on the inside. So that egg is gonna kind of glue the puff pastry to itself. But for a little extra added measure, I am using my fork to press around the edges. And there it is, there's the final product before it goes into the oven. So I'm just gonna do the other three of those before moving on to the pigs in a blanket. Okay, so for those, I'm just cutting the hot dog into thirds, each of the hot dogs. And then I just took that same puff pastry and I'm kind of flattening it out a little bit just to make it, I needed it just a little bit bigger. So just using my fingers to kind of stretch that out and then roll it on top of itself there with the egg again working as my glue. All in for the gluten-free, I made three barecas and six pigs in a blanket. Okay, so the gluten-free stuff is now in the oven. That is gonna bake for, I don't know, however long until it looks kind of golden brown and done. And I'm gonna throw together the hot dogs for that are gonna be gluten. And for that, for that I'm just using these puff pastry sheets instead of the gluten-free one because the gluten-free one, you guys, we can only get once a year and it's super expensive. So I'm just using that for my kid who needs gluten-free. So for everybody else, we're getting the regular gluten stuff that we can buy at the grocery store year round. Okay. So I'm gonna throw those together. I'm not gonna film those because it's the same thing. It's just with a different kind of puff pastry. And, and then I don't know what's gonna happen next. Probably I'll start going and running errands next. So I'll see you guys probably in the car. By the way, is what those gluten-free barecas and pigs in a blanket turned out to look like after they came out of the oven. I am happy to report that after Shabbat, my son told me that they were the best barecas he had ever had and the best pigs in a blanket he had ever had. So win there. Okay, so we are in the car now. We are heading out to the grocery store. We've already done two of our errands. I put some gas in the car and then we picked up a prescription at the pharmacy. And now we are headed off to the grocery store to pick up some challah for Shabbat and a couple other things because we're at the store, we might as well. So we're gonna go do that, take you guys along to the grocery store and then head home. Okay, so naturally I forgot to film almost the entire time in the store until we were checking out. In my defense, I had three kids with me. One was very sleepy and two were asking me lots of questions. And I was on the phone like back and forth with my husband about what we needed to get and what he needed and specifically this one or this type or whatever. Anyways, so I was a little busy to do the filming, but <laughs> we have finished the grocery store and now we are ready to head home. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. So I think we're making some really good progress as far as everything that we wanted to get done today. 
So, okay, let's head home. Okay, so we are home now from the grocery store and the errands and things. For lunch, I picked myself up a sushi, so I'm pretty excited about that. And for the other kids, they wanted to have sandwiches. They actually picked out these turkey sandwiches that they saw at the grocery store, and I was like, I will buy the exact same roll and I will make you a turkey sandwich at home. So I'm gonna make them all some sandwiches, put these groceries away, and then I think, yeah. <laughs> Um, that's where we're at right now. So it's uh, creeping up on noon. So it is definitely lunchtime. So that is where we're at now. So I'm gonna put some lunches together and we'll just keep on trucking through our day. Oh, real quick. Um, I did before I left to go to the store, right back here, I put the chicken from the pot of soup into the bowl over there so that that could all cool off. So at this point I've been gone for a bit. You're so cute, yes you are. <laughs> So at this point I've been gone for a bit and I'll be able to pull that chicken off of the bone very easily and then add that back into the soup. So I have to do that as well at some point here this afternoon. But first, lunch. Definitely try to keep lunch pretty simple on Fridays. Sandwiches are definitely an easy thing to do. I almost kind of felt like this was a little fancy for a Friday meal for us, but it was just turkey sandwiches with some deli meat that I picked up at Costco and some lettuce. Nobody wanted tomato or anything else. And, and then there was some mayonnaise on there as well. Whenever I'm doing a meal like this where there is a gluten and a gluten-free option, I always make the gluten-free one first and then move on to the gluten one. And there's always a lot of hand washing involved in between stuff as well to make sure there's no cross-contamination. And for the final touch, I just added some chips onto these plates and served the kids. All right, with the kids busy eating lunch and my sushi already eaten, it was pretty good time now to get to work on this chicken. So everything just came off of the bone, super simple, and I just shredded it with my fingers there directly into the pot. All right, there are stains on my shirt that I don't even know where they came from. That is okay. All right, I finished the soup, so let me show you. All right, so just like super chock full of veggies and chicken. I am so excited. Okay, Monos is about to get started on those matzo balls, but before he does that, I'm just gonna put these flowers together and that's probably about it. So I'm gonna do that and we'll see if something else interesting happens today. All right, so for flowers this week, my daughter has some red Gerber daisies, which she was arranging on her own. And then for me, I just got these blue hydrangeas. They are one of my favorites. So I love how also how easy they are to put together. They don't take hardly any time at all. So flowers are done. Okay, so I guess that was pretty much it. Nothing else really happened there after I put the flowers together other than just like some general tidying up. And like I ran the vacuum around the floor and just kind of made sure things were put away. So that is where we are at right now. Okay, I've got a super tired baby firefly that I need to go deal with and it's almost candle lighting. So I gotta deal with that too. And it is almost Shabbat. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this video off oh. here. I know, you're so tired. Thank you all so much for being here. As always, I super appreciate it. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button, drop me a comment down below. Let me know how things are going. And with that, we are all done. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload.
You like that snack or you, you don't like it? That is fine if you don't like it.